Hey, how's it going? My name is Bertrand. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video to explain to you how to get your CDL license. Maybe you're looking for um, an opportunity. You're looking for a way to make extra income, uh, some serious income, not extra income. You're looking for a career path, right? Uh, you need something to fall back on if everything go uh, left, right? Uh, this could be it for you. I'm going to explain to you how I've been able to get my CDL license. I put together a step-by-step. Um, you could just go over it and look if, if this is something for you, okay? Now, bear with me. English is not my first language, so just bear with me. So first thing you'll need to do to get your CDL license, you need to get your permit. So if you look at the screen uh, right now, you need to study to get your permit. What do I mean by that? When you went to get your driver's license, before you got your driver's license, you needed to get your, your permit, then learn how to drive, right? To take the test. So it's the same step here in order for you to get your actual CDL license. You'll need to get your permit first, right? So before you can go ahead and learn how to drive the truck and uh, pass the test to get your actual uh, license. So how do you get your permit? Um, you could go to any website that offer that course, right? There'll be a CDL prep, or you can download the actual app on your cell phone and you could actually study to go ahead and get your permit, okay? Um, if you look at the screen right there, let me show you guys what do I mean by that. I'm going to go on the sites that I use, right? Uh, it's pretty simple. You could just go on the site, right? And uh, you could do a study plan, right? Um, now we could just stay, okay, next, we're gonna skip this, uh, click pass, uh, next, you could click beginner, right? Click beginner, next, uh, you could select your state, right? Um, for me, I'm in Florida, so I'm gonna select Florida, right? Next, uh, general knowledge, so, I'm going to show you what you most likely need to get your class A CDL license, right? You need to do general knowledge, right? You will need to do air brake, right? And you'll need to do combination. Those are the three things you need to do in order for you to get your class A CDL. Now, you might add more to your CDL class A, uh, such as hazmat it will just increase your pay maybe five to 10 cents more and you'll be able to hold a uh, hazmat load, right? Because um, there is load that you might not be able to hold with a regular class A license without the hazmat uh, in there, okay? But uh, it's not necessary. You could just do general knowledge. You could just do air brake combination and then you could just do next, right? I'm going to show you the format if you're using your app, uh, how you will look like, okay? Just bear with me. I'm going to share my screen with you guys, right? Share screen, all right? We're gonna stop broadcast, okay? One second. I gotta stop sharing right now. Um, just one second, guys. Okay. There you go. We're gonna stop broadcast. Boom. All right, so yes, there you go. Right, now what you need to do, you could just download the app, right? on your cell phone, this will make it much easier for you. So wherever you go, you are studying, you have the app on your cell phone and you could study in bedtime, uh, maybe on your lunch, on your break. Uh, whenever you get a free time, you could actually study. You always have your cell phone with you. And this is what I did, right? I download this app, it's called CDL Prep, right? I'm gonna click on it right now. I download this app, right? And what I did, when you download the app, they'll give you the option to select which one of them you want to study. You could do general knowledge right there, right? And what you do, you do practice mode. After you have done practice mode, let's say twice, right? Then you could go ahead and do exam mode. Because on the actual test, if you go back on the practice mode, it's about 240 questions on the actual test, right? Exam mode. When you go to your local DMV, it's not going to be 249 questions. It's only going to be about 50 questions, right? So you could go ahead and take 
the exam, start the exam, right? And take a few of them, right? So once you see that your average core, it's about 85, 95%, then you could move on to the next one, right? You could take all three of them at once, or you could do uh, each one of them separate. Uh, everybody is different when it comes to learning. So maybe you want to do general knowledge first, because it is a lot of questions, 240 questions to remember. Um, so maybe you want to do it separately, right? Or you could just do everything at once and go to your local DMV and take the test at once, right? So once you do general knowledge, you do practice mode once or twice, then you start doing exam mode. It's only going to be 50 questions at your local DMV. And then now you just start the exam and then it's gonna time you and you're gonna start doing it a couple of times, right? Once you see that you're very good at it, then you could move on to the next one or you could just go take that particular test, right? And once you're done with that, you move on to the other two that you need, which is uh, you're going to need to take uh, combination, right? You're going to do combinations. You do the same, which is practice mode. This one is actually 65 questions, but when you get to the DMV, it's going to be actual, actually 25 questions that they will ask you at the local DMV on the computer. It's not going to be all, the, the whole 65 questions, but it's good to do the practice mode at least one or twice. Once you get familiar with it, then now you can do exam mode a couple of times. Once you see your average score is about 92, 95, and you feel comfortable enough, you can go ahead and take the test at your local DMV for the combination, okay? So, like I said, exam mode is going to be at the local DMV, only about 25 questions, I believe, right? So guys, um, let's move on to the, to the next step. Um, you're going to need to do air breaks, right? Air breaks right here. Um, air breaks, you could do practice mode, same steps. Just go ahead and do the questions, right? Once you do all these questions, um, the practice mode, and you get familiar with it, at least once or twice, you can go ahead and do the exam mode. Once you get an average score where you feel comfortable enough, you could go ahead and move on uh, and take the test, your local DMV, right? So this is the app, uh, guys, it's called uh, City of Prep. You could go to your app store. I'm going to show you guys, go to your app store. Uh, even if you have an Android, you'll still be able to download that app. It's called City of Prep. Uh, this is what the app look like, right? You download the app, it's a very good app. This is what I use that helped me uh, pass the test to get my permit, okay? So we're done with that steps. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, understand that step. We're gonna move forward uh, to the next steps you'll need to get your CDL license, right? So like I was saying, get your permit. So you need to book an appointment first. Uh, since COVID-19, you cannot just do a walk-in. It's uh, less likely for you to get it done. Um, so I'll say go on the website for your local DMV. I live in Florida. For mine is Florida Highway Safety and uh, Motor Vehicles. So you could just go on the website and you could book an appointment, right? Once you, but I'll advise you to do one in the morning, just in order, just if you don't pass the test, you could just take it that same day. Uh, it's based on how busy they are, they might suggest the next day to take the test. So I'll say if you leave another state beside Florida, find out which website you need to go ahead and set up an appointment. I'm not sure if that's the same steps uh, in a different state, but in Florida, I cannot go to the DMV since COVID-19 without setting up an appointment first. If I just do a walk-in, that will most likely uh, turn me down, okay? Now, if you don't pass the test the first time, it's okay, don't panic, right? That don't mean you're not able to get your CDL license. Don't stress over it just got to study more, or maybe you made a mistakes, you just got to take the test again. And what you do the first time is free. If you don't pass, you pay an extra five or 15 bucks, $15 to take the test uh, all over again. Okay. Uh, that's about it. And um, once you take in the test, they got an option in the computer, the questions you are not sure about, you could push them in the back and you answer everything that you're sure everything that you know that you, that you know that you got it for sure you could answer those first and leave the one that you are not totally sure about in the back uh, to be honest it's more of common sense a lot of those questions uh, so just make sure that 
you got your, you're not stressing, you're ready, um, you relax, and you'll be able to pass it and get your permit, okay? You don't have to go ahead and pay somebody on the side to do it for you. You don't have to cheat the system. Uh, you just got to study it, and you'll get it done. Uh, it took me about three days to study everything and go ahead to my local DMV and take the test. Now, you need to get your DOT done. What is a DOT? Uh, it's basically like a physical that you need to do uh, in order uh, for them to know if you are uh, have any disability or um, may, maybe visual problem or um, just to know that you, if you'll be able to operate the vehicle effectively without any health a concern, you know, uh, maybe uh, you have high blood pressure, maybe uh, you have some type of uh, medical uh, problem where you cannot drive as long as someone else. So once you did a physical and they find out, uh, based on the school you go to, they'll let you know more about it and you know uh, maybe you have to drive less hours than someone else, maybe there's uh, some complication with yours. Uh, but you just got to get your physical done. You need that physical card to go to the DMV after you take the test. You pass it in order for them to uh, add it to the system and print out your permit. Okay, you'll need the DOT card. You'll, you'll need the medical form, right? You'll need that in order for you to operate um, a truck. Okay, now it costs about $60. You could just go on Google and then type um, what is the nearest uh dot clinic to do get your dot done just go on google and type something up about getting your dot done for truck there'll be a few places that shows up call them ask them the, the, uh, how much it costs and find out the address and just go ahead and get your dot card done okay it's about 60 dollars. it is mandatory you need to get it done in for you to get your cdl uh permit now we're going to the next steps you'll need to do right now now you need to either go to a local CDL school, uh, you pay out of pocket, or, um, well, it'll be ideal for people that have a lot of bills, they got their job, they cannot just walk away for a whole month, they got the kids, um, so it'd be ideal for them to, to go that route, okay? That's not the route I went to, but that'll be the best route for you, okay? And um, where you can stay local, maybe you work in the morning, in the afternoon, you go to the school, you put your hours in, you learn, and you're still at your job while you're getting your CDL license. Um, you're still able to take care of your kids, do what you gotta do uh, while you, you're taking your CDL license. Or you can find a company online and let them finance it for you, okay? They'll send you to school for three to four weeks to learn and take the, 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 the state test to get your actual license. Uh, they also book your flight and some of them uh, give you daily allowance to buy food, right? So they'll give you maybe 15 bucks, 20 bucks so you can uh, buy food, right? Um, I went out of States just because I wanted to get away. I live in Miami. It's a lot of party in Miami. It's a lot going on. I got all the things I'm taking care of. So if I stayed in Miami out and took the, the test in Miami, I would not be able to focus. So I went, I went out of town for a month and I got my license done, right? So for some of you guys, you might need to go out of town for a month, separate yourself from all distractions in order for you to focus and get your CDL license, right? Uh, remember, when you call the company, let's say you call a company, you'll tell them um, you want to work for them. You got your permit. You don't have the CDL license. Uh, they'll send you to a school to get your license and have you sign a contract. So uh, companies you could go to, um, maybe Schneider, Prime, uh, CFI, uh, CRST, right? They'll send you to a school. Uh, before you go to that school, remember to look up the reviews. If when you get, the, when you get there, you know, ask questions around uh, to see the way this school teach. Because uh, it might not work out for you, right? So I've seen people that came to my school, didn't work out for them. They went to another school and it actually worked out for them. So, and once you sign that contract, that says that you'll be with the company for six months or a year uh, because they're paying for the school for you. So they want a commitment out of you for six months or a year. Once you sign that contract, you've got about two days to back out of that contract. So if you get to the school within your first two days, 
make sure you get a feel of the environment. And if it's not going to work out for you, you feel that way, absolutely. Just let them know and walk away. Because if you do not, you walk away the third day, the fourth day, or you one weekend, and then you want to work out or you want to you say this is not for you, you're still going to end up owing them the money, the $5,000 or three or four, whatever they pay for the school for you, you're going to owe them that money, even if you did not finish the course and get your CDL license, okay? Now, keep in mind, you come in there to learn, you're looking for a path forward to make extra income, something to get your career going on, to separate yourself, to focus on, so don't look for any excuses. I know it might be tough, you're in a different environment, it's something new to you. Just bear with it. Uh, buckle down and learn the process. Le learn what you need to do. Okay. In my case, I went as a group. So it was about three of us. So when we went, uh, we, we held each other accountable. So we're able to practice together to test each other. We're able to do everything as a group and be uh, competitive, which help us get it done uh, sooner, faster. Right. So if you don't have somebody you're going to school with when you get to school, right, maybe look, find a partner, find somebody that's really serious about it and, you know, and just tell them, hey, I want to learn with you so you guys can be able to focus and work together and that'll get you going because you're going, going to be uh, in a friendly competition with them. Well, to learn and uh, get it done and, you know, hold each other accountable. OK, now. Um, what first day in, they're going to do like a video class or they probably have a projector on a whiteboard. Uh, they're going to talk about safety, risk, uh, human trafficking, uh, you know, uh, placards, uh, basic information about trucks and, and the drivers and um, the do and do not do. And uh, those are just to get your hours in. I'll say focus and, and make sure you watch them because um, uh, a lot of people think truck driving is just for anybody, is for the reject of society, people that's uh, nobody, they can't find something to do. No, uh, truck driving is very hard. Uh, it's a great career. You can earn thousands of dollars. You could make a six figure. And if you're an operator, you could make a double, triple six figure. So this is a very serious industry that I used to look at and laugh at. I used to think, Oh, just anybody could do it. The, the you know people that can get the education go ahead and do a truck driving, and uh, it's not true. Truck driving is very, very uh, as hard as any career, and uh, even harder. Right? You got to be alert. Not everybody can be a truck driver. It's a very serious career path. There's a serious income to be made. You make more money than a lot of people that went to school and got themselves. Um, a degree, right? Because you'll be able to make your first year maybe a uh, 60K, 70K, um, 80,000, um, or even more. It depends who you are as an individual, right? Now, you'll need a total of at least 160 hours, right? This is something that just changed around, I believe, February 2022. There's the amount of hours that you need to get in, right? Uh, and you need at least three to four weeks training. Now, if you are missing hours or you go to a school with a bad reputation, I live in Miami. So a few of us school, uh, they don't really recognize them, right? So what happened is when you go to a school that have a bad reputation or you're missing hours, right? Any company you call to work for, right? Uh, what happened is they might send you, they might not hire you, or they're going to send you to another school that they trust, right, for it, for an extra week to complete the missing hours or just to train on the yard so they can see your skills level, right? So, which is normal, right? Don't take it personal. It's, it's normal to do, right? They don't want to give you a chalk. They don't know what you can do, what you cannot do. A lot of people, they go to some school. They got their friends. They hook them up. They got the city of license that, they don't really know nothing, right? I've seen it, people that sent to my school that actually had the CDL license, then they couldn't do the parking, they couldn't do a straight back. The, the road test, uh, they went on the road test, they could not drive, right? They, they couldn't do a proper pre-trip. So certain school might not give them the, the right information, the right training. So these companies don't wanna hire you 
uh, you know, because they don't want to put you behind the wheel and you, you cause an accident, you know. So they want to make sure that you are ready to work for them, that you are able to, to do the job that they hire you to do. OK, now. Uh, what you going to to do, right? You're going to, once you get to the school, right, the steps, what you need to do, what you're going to need to learn in order for you to take the test to get your CEDAW license. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do, um, let's go right here, right? Um, you'll need to do the pre-trip, okay? So you're going to need to learn your pre-trip, your pre-trip, uh, which is the parts about the trucking, right? So you're gonna learn some parts about your truck, right? In the trailer as well. And you're going to talk about them. You're gonna learn the language, how to talk about them, right? Uh, the pre-trip is pretty simple. So uh, you're going to either have engine compartment, you might get the whole truck. Well, you're going to learn the whole truck regardless, right? Uh, you might get combination, right? Uh, combination is the middle part where there's a connection between the trailer and the truck. You might get the trailer itself, where you got to talk about the trailer. Um, you're always going to get either combination and light. So the rest might be the trailer. It might be the engine compartment. Okay. So, but you always will get combination and you always will get the light check. Okay. Now, once you learn your preacher and you learn the language, how to talk about them, right? you're going to have to do, to learn your three steps. The three steps uh, in in cab inspection, right? It must be word for word, cannot miss or skip any steps. So the three steps is basically to check your air brakes, right? And uh, the in cab is while you're inside, you talk about your gauges and you talk about uh, your windshield and wipers, uh, everything is securely mounted or at or rising to the proper level. You'll learn those language once you get to the school. They'll teach you, they'll give you something to study um, so you can learn about them, right? And um, I'll show you a, a file where I have the three steps in there. You guys could look it up and study if you want to, okay? Now, once you do your three steps, your pre-trip, you learn your pre-trip, right? Then once you learn your three steps, right? You learn your end cap, right? Then you're going to need to learn how to park the truck. So parking the truck in reverse, right? That's what you're going to need to learn. Uh, they're going to teach you how to do straight back. I'm going to show you what is a straight back, right? Let's just go right there and go on straight back. So you're going to learn how to do straight back. Uh, basically, it's just a straight line. They're going to put cones, right? And some school might have the, uh, the, the floor, the ground. They, have, they might have the lines uh, on the ground. And you just gotta go straight down without hitting the cone or getting on the line, right? Each time you hit a cone or hit the line, you're losing points when you're taking the test. So basically with the truck, you just gotta, you're gonna pull forward, you're going straight back and stand in your lane, right? This is something you learn in the school where they'll teach you uh, if you see your trailer going to the right side, right? And you need it to move to the, if your trailer is going back, if you wanna get away from the right side, you move your, your wheel to the left side. So you'll learn this in school. Uh, I don't have to get into it too much, but it's basically just going back straight, okay? Now, um, you're going to get offsets. You're always going to get offsets and straight back, which is basically two line, right? Through two straight line, right? And you're going to pull, after you do the straight back, you're going to pull forward and you're going to come out from this line. You pull forward, you come out from this line, right? To get into this line, line right here, right? So basically you pull forward, you came from this lane, right? From this right here, and you go into this one right there. So this is the offset. Then you're going to learn parallel. Parallel is basically the part parallel you know what is a parallel, right? So this is what a parallel look like. It's going to be a box. So what you do, you do your setup and you got to get in there and park. You'll learn how to do that. You might not get parallel. You might get 45, right? Uh, which is very common. So it's either parallel or 45. They're very common where you just got to uh, get in there. You see the setup right there? That's the 45. Or you might get 90. The school I went to, 
they either had parallel or 90, right? So the 90, uh, some people say it's the hardest, some say it's the easier for them, is this for them. So where you just gotta come, let's say this is the cone right there. You set up, you straight like that, you go straight. This is the truck. You gotta back up the truck and get inside the box, right? So that's the 90, okay? So once you learn your parking maneuvers and you pass them, right? Uh, which the school will teach you how to do so. Don't overthink it. They'll teach you, they'll show the way and you get it done. You're going to have to do the road test, right? So the road test is technically driving on the road. So they'll take you out and drive on the highway and the city, right? So once you feel comfortable enough, they see that you pass your road test, you're doing it right, then they'll send you to take the test, the actual exam uh, with someone from the state or an instructor in your school that is certified to give the test to you. And um, so first is the pre-trip. Once you do the pre-trip, you're going to do the three steps and in cab, then you do a parking, you either get the straight back, you're gonna, you're gonna get the straight back, you're going to get offset parallel. Uh, you might get, no, you might get parallel. It might be 45, it might be 90, okay? Then you're going to do road tests where you gotta uh, drive on the highway and see. They'll teach you how to drive. You got how to make, take your turn wide and look for your trailer. Make sure you don't get on, in, into any curve. They'll teach you, teach you all those things, okay? Now, if you don't pass it once and done, right? One and done, right? They'll let you take the test again. I think it's up to three times. Some school might let you take it up to four or five times if they see, see sign of improvement, improvement, if they see that you're serious, if they see that you're willing to learn, right? Or they might send you on, see if they see that you're not focused, right? So you might, you need to be focused, you need to be studying. And at some school, once you don't pass the pre-trip uh, in the three-step, let's say twice or three times, they're gonna send you home. At least you gotta be pass, passing it, one of them. So if you go and you take three steps, and the preacher you pass it and you don't you fail the parking maneuvers so what happened is when you take the test again you don't have to take the three steps uh in the pre-trip again you just got to go ahead and take the parking this time so that takes some stress off you because you know you don't have to study for the three step and purchase anymore you can focus on the parking or if you if, if you pass the parking you don't pass the road test then you know you just got to focus on your road test because you already passed the parking so that's all you're going to be test it on the next time they give you the test, okay? So once you pass all that, uh, they're going to give you a, a paper. You're going to take this paper to the DMV. If you want it done, there's going to be one paper in each box will check out, say you pass the pre-trip, uh, you pass the, the parking, you pass the road test. If uh, you fail one or you take another one, you pass them separately, it's going to be more than one paper. They might give you two, three, depends on how many times you take the test, how long it takes you uh, to pass it. So they'll give you a different uh, sheet of paper. You bring all of them to the DMV, right? Your local DMV and your medical card with you is very important. If you don't have a medical card with you, even though they had put it in the system, your permit, you need to bring it with you again. If you don't have it, then they will not give you, they will not call the, they will not give you the license right there and then. So you need to go back and get it and bring it back again, okay? So your, your DMV will need to call to clarify, to verify that you have your, your info has been in, put in the system, uh, that you pass the test, right? Because uh, I'm in Florida, so I want to get my license at, in Miami. What they did, they call uh, the, the main city for my state, which is Tallahassee right? They call them to verify that I passed the CDL test and they put the information in the system for them. And then they'll be, they proceed to give me my license. So it might be the same for your state where they got to call the main city in your state uh, that take care of uh, the Florida highway and all that stuff. And once they call them verify and they call back within 30 minutes, 15, put the information in the system so they can print out your license, right? So They'll take another picture, you know, just make sure if you want a nice picture on your license, when you go, look your best, and um, they'll, you pay $75, they take a picture, they print out your license right there, and then, okay? So that's the steps, 
to get your CDL license. It's pretty simple. I didn't really get into the details. What is the pre-trip, the three steps, the parking, all that stuff. This, these are things that I'll do another video to explain you guys what it is, okay? And um, from there on, uh, you guys will, I'll probably put a link on my page. Um, I'll let you guys know more on my YouTube. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you could watch this video, hopefully it was uh, helpful. And uh, you guys can go ahead and go out there and get your CDL license, okay? Um, so good luck to everybody. Uh, thank you if you watch this video. Um, well, see you in the next video.